الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقتتم من لساني يفقه قولي ربي زدني علما أجمعين إن شاء الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase in all of us knowledge. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. Harf jar? You've got to say loudly, all of one voice. Harf jar? Ism majroor. Okay, inshallah. Brother, first we'll do the drill. Huh? We'll do the drill. Uh, okay, which is? Damirun munfasilun. You will also remember Damirun munfasilun. Munfasilun means detached program. All of these things are in your handouts. Okay? Ready? Hua huma hum. Hiya huma humna. Anta antuma antum. Anti antuma antunna. Ana nahnu. Hua huma hum. Hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Hua huma hum, hiya huma hunna, anta antuma antum, anti antuma antunna, ana nahnu. Masha'Allah. Then we will do little drill of verbs, brothers and sisters, because verbs will come now. Zahaba, I'll do Kara'a and then we will do Taraka and we will do one more Fahima, very nice verb. Ready, brothers and sisters? We start. Zahaba, Zahaba, Zahabu, Zahabat, Zahabata, Zahabna. Zahabta, Zahabtuma, Zahabtum, Zahabti, Zahabtuma, Zahabtunna, Zahabtu, Zahabna. Now this is in the sequence, the sequence of our 14 pronouns. Huh? 
14 forms of verb. Okay, brother? In the Mahdi. Huh? Fine. Now, who are? Zahaba. Hiya, Zahabat. Ana, Anta, Anti, Nahnu, Antum, Antunna, Hum, Mashallah. Hal Zahabta ila al Masjid al Yom, Ya Muhammad? What will you say? Say in yes. Hal Zahabta ila al Masjid al Yom, Ya Muhammad? Naam, Zahabtu. I went. You want to, you can say I Zahabtu ila al Masjid. But Zahabtu, I went. Hal Zahabti ila al Masjid al Yom, Ya Salma? Zahabtu. Huh? Because you will have to say, I went. Huh? I say, you went, but you will say, I went. Are you with me? Hal zahabta ila al-masjid al-yom ya hasan? No. Zahabtu. Masha'Allah. Masha'Allah. Faiza, hal zahabti ila suq al-yom? Did you go to market today? No. No. And then what will you say? Zahabtu. Zahabtu. You see, when you say Zahabti, means you went. You want to say, I went. So what will you say? Zahabtu. Huh? Be careful. Huh? Okay. Ya Abdus Samad, Hal Zahabta ila suq al No. Zahabtu. Got the idea? Ya Salman, Hal Zahabta ila al-masjid al Zahabtu. Ya Farooq, Hal Zahabta ila al-masjid al you will say naam, and then you will say zahabtu, I went. Are you with me? Abir, al zahabti la suq al yom? No, zahabtu. Zahabtu, see? Inshallah, we'll practice little by little. Huh? Kaifa halukum, ya ikhwanu? Nahnu bi khair. Walhamdulillah, walhamdulillah. We all will come. Huh? Kaifa haluka ya Muhammad? Ana bil khair. Walhamdulillah. Masha. Kaifa haluki ya Salma? Ana bil khair. Walhamdulillah. And I'm an all praise to Allah. Are you with me? Kaifa halukunna ya khawatu? Nahnu bi khair. Walhamdulillah. Are you with me? Inshallah. Okay, now let us come back to Kara'a. What is the meaning of Kara'a? He read. Okay, ready? Kara'a, Kara'a, Kara'u, Kara'at, Kara'ata, Kara'ana, Kara'ata, Kara'atuma, Kara'atum, Kara'ati, Kara'atuma, Kara'atunna, Kara'atu, Kara'ana. Okay? Ana, Karatu. Are you with me? Ana Karatu. I read. Anta Karata. You read. Anti Karati. Hua Kara. He read. Hia Karaat. Hia Karaat. Are you with me? Hum Karau. Hunna Karana. Antum Karatu. Antunna. Karatunna. Nahnu Karana. I urge you to write those sheets. You know you were given 25 sheets? Were you given? Two every day, Brother Farooq. You should write down two every day and try. When you do, huh? for example, I am doing at home Taraka. So when I will write Taraka, Taraka, he he quit or he left. He left. Okay. Now let's let's do Fahima. What is the meaning of Fahima? He understood. He understood. When you say Fahima, he understood. You translate yourself. When you say Fahima, two of them understood. When you say Fahimu, they understood. When you say Fahimat, 
she understood. When you say Fahimata, two of the ladies understood. When you say Fahimna, they all understood feminine, feminine. When you say Fahimta, you understood. When you say Fahimtuma, two of you understood. When you say Fahimtum, you all of you understood. When you say Fahimti, you understood. Feminine. When you say Fahimtuma, two of the sisters understood, who are in front of me. When you say Fahimtunna, means all the sisters in front of me understood. Brother Farooq, when you say Fahimtu, I understood. Huh? And when you say Fahimna, we understood. Hal Fahimtum, Naam. What will be the answer? Fahimna, MashaAllah. Huh? What will be the answer? Fahimna. Are you with me? Hal Fahimti, Ya Salma? T, what will you, what will you answer? Naam, Fahim tu, I understood. Are you with me? Hal Fahimta Ya Muhammad? Naam, Fahim tu. Fahim tu. Ya Abdus Samad? Hal Fahimta? Naam, Fahim tu. Fahim tu. Like that. Hal Fahimti Ya Fatima? Naam. What will you say? Fahim tu. Huh? Speak loudly. Don't feel shy. We are all family. Huh? We are studying as a family, brothers and sisters. Huh? Speak loudly. So, <clears throat> let's do Taraka now. Taraka, Taraka, Taraku, Tarakat, Tarakata, Tarakna, Tarakta, Taraktuma, Taraktum, Tarakti, Taraktuma, Taraktunna, Taraktu, Tarakna. Whether after Hunna, as I said, it's very easy. All you are adding to the fail, which is Tarak, with Lam Kalima Sukun. Remember? Tarak. What are you adding, Brother Farooq? Ta, Tuma, Tum, Ti, Tuma, Tunna, Tuna. Are you with me? Those are the files you are adding. And every time you say tu means I, every time say na means we, every time say you ta means you, ti means you feminine. Are you with me? It's very easy. But if you won't write, it will not stay in your mind. Brother, we gave you 25 sheets. I have got 100 sheets for everyone in, in the store. Because this is the way you will become strong. Brother, I, I took it on myself to do conjugation without anyone asking me. And I realized that by doing it, I was getting stronger and I was understanding it well. So writing is very crucial to your understanding. Those who are extremely busy, I do not blame them for not writing. And they should not blame themselves for not writing because you have a lot of chores. You know, your children, your housework, your husband, your family, a lot of responsibilities uh, we have in this country. So some of you, the small children, you are extremely busy. But then those who have uh, no children or grown-up children and who are young, we should utilize every minute of our time in studying Arabic. If you really want to master in seven months, the ball is in your court, whatever you want to do. Sit down, go in front of the television and say to the television, you know, I am very stupid. You can rob me of my time, I don't mind. And this, the television will oblige you and will rob you of your precious time. Or we quit everything that is not important and concentrate on our homework, inshallah. You will try and do it. Now that I did so much, I will write one more word. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay, I wrote one more word. Shariba. He drank. He drank. Always past tense. 
he drank. Ready? Shariba, Shariba, Sharibu, Sharibat, Sharibata, Sharibna, Sharibta, Sharibtuma, Sharibtum, Sharibti, Sharibtuma, Sharibtunna, Sharibtu, Sharibna. Okay? Ana Sharibtu. Ana Sharibtu. Nahnu Sharibna. Anta Sharibta. Anti Sharibti. Hum Sharibu. Hua Shariba. Hia Sharibat. Antum Sharibtum. Antunna Sharibtunna. Hunna Sharibna. Hua Shariba. Ana Tu. But inshallah it will sit in our mind. Eh? Let, little practice, okay? See, that is why I insist that you should not miss a class. You should come so that you can practice, inshallah. Huh? Brother, if you think you can learn Arabic very quickly, then that notion is incorrect. You will require a lot of hard work and dedication. And then, inshallah, Allah will bless you with the knowledge. Inshallah. Okay, now, brothers and sisters, we come to a new thing in our book. Adarsu Thalitha Ashara. Adarsu Thalitha Ashara. Lesson number 13. What are we learning in this lesson? Is the introduction of Jama. Till lesson 12. Dr. Abdurrahim did not introduce Jama. See, that is his vision. This is his farsightedness. Everything at a time. One step at a time. Now he will introduce us to Jama for the first time in this book. So we try to understand. But Jama means plural. In English, if I say pen, it will become pens. If I say book, it will become book. But it is not so in Arabic. I cannot say kalam, kalams. I cannot say kalams. No. They have a different thing. And it's more beautiful, more eloquent. Okay. Now, if I say to you, waladun, Okay, and if I say to you, Kitabun, and if I say to you, Rasulun, brothers and sisters, these are singular noun. What are they, brothers and sisters? Singular, singular noun. When you make a plural out of it, it can either go to sound plural or it can go to broken plural. Okay, I will write down here also. Hmm. Now, when you see here, we have wa, la, and dun. Sahih? So in other words, it is walada. Huh? Now I change into plural and I say au la dun. The three letters of walada underwent a change. Huh? I brought Hamzatul Kata in the beginning. Here it was Fata. I gave it a sukun. Here was a la, I added alif. So the original three letter underwent some changes. Okay? Because they underwent some changes, we broke them. We broke the three original letters and created a plural. But we broke it. So in that case, we will call awladu broken plural. Why? 
because the first three letters are changed. Uh, something was added. And in some cases, something can be deleted. For example, brother, I say kitabun. Uh, what is the plural? Kutubun. Do you see any changes? Yes. Ki became ku. Ta became tu. Where did Alif go? Huh? No, I, I, I should not write kitabun, brother. I beg your pardon. Yeah, kitabun is sahih. Kitabun is sahih. So I beg your pardon. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, kitabun became kutubun. So, ki became ku. And then ta became tu. What happened to alif? You dropped it. And then, of course, ba is born fine. But then, it is not in the same way as it was in the singular. It underwent change and also you dropped a letter. Aleph. What will you call this? Broken plural. Huh? Now see, Rasulun. And we know because we are familiar with the Quran. What is the plural of Rasulun? Rusulun. Huh? Rasulun became? Can you see? Here you say su with wow, you drop the wow, which was in the original, uh, which was in the, which was in the singular noun, which was in the singular noun. You dropped it. Plus you made some changes, ra became ru. So what will you call it? A broken plural. Are you with me? You will call it broken plural. Huh? Jama taksir. Huh? Fine. So now broken plurals in Arabic language are built on certain patterns. They are built on certain patterns. So they are built on, as I said, the broken plurals are built on certain patterns. And there are many patterns. My brother, many patterns. But the important patterns, inshallah, you will recognize. Do you recognize something in Kutubun and Rusulun? They look same. So what could be the pattern? Remember the pattern will always be fa'ala. Huh? Can you see the pattern in it? This? Huh? Fu'ulun. What is it? Fu'ulun. Fu'ulun. Huh? See, there you saw a pattern. Huh? Now, waladun, if you make it for Allah, what will be? Af'alun. What will be the pattern? Af'alun. But this is a beginning. If you are slow in understanding, it is normal. If you do not understand fully, it is normal. Because this is the first time we are coming across it. But slowly, slowly, if you will work and think, then, inshallah, everything will become very clear to you. Okay? So, in other words, the broken plurals are built on certain patterns. Okay? Now, we have mudarrisun. Look at it, brother. Mudarrisun. When I want to make it a jama, I want to add only wow and noon. Uh, wow with a sukun and noon like that. So, what will become, brothers and sisters? Mudarri suna. Mudarri suna. Mudarri suna. Now, do you see mudarri su? And also here, mudarri su intact. Nothing was changed. Huh? Brother Abdul Samad, nothing was changed. What was added? Wow, and noon to make it into a jama, plural. 
So what will you call this? Sound proof. Sound proof. What will you call it? It's very easy. What will you call it? Sound proof. Why is it called sound proof? Have you pardoned? Why is it called sound proof? Because the original noun, singular noun, remained intact. You did not touch it. Haruk, do you understand, brother? I have a request. When you ask a question, speak very loudly, brother, so that it is picked up by the mic, huh? so that, you know, the question is also heard. You know, we are trying to, brothers and sisters, do something. I hope and pray, may Allah make it easy and may Allah make, bless us with this project, success in this project. If we are successful, brothers and sisters, then you can all have this video at home and you can revise it, your lessons, and we can send videos to anybody who is interested in learning Arabic. So speak loudly, my brother Farooq, loudly. Huh? When you ask any question, speak loudly. Now Muslimun, see, look at the singular, Muslimun. Now if I change into plural, I will add Wow and Moon. So it will become Muslimun. What will I call this plural? Sound plural. Are you with me, brother? Sound plural. Okay, so in other words, in the sound plural, brother, it is a form that keeps the letters of the singular noun unchanged. It is a form, what is sound plural? It is a form in which the letters of the singular noun are kept unchanged. Huh? Okay, and, and we add wow and noon to it in order to make it into a sound masculine plural. Is there any specific loud, loud. Is there any specific thing that we, we know that okay, this one we don't have to change and we have to add wow and uh, this one is proper. How would we know it? Uh, by reading. By reading. By reading. The, 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 those things have been done. So when you read Quran, you will be looking into it. When you will read our lessons, you will come across it. Are you with me? We won't, Sister Menas, we won't make it our own. Only in a rare, rare cases you will make it. Otherwise, they are all done. But it seems that no sound plural is proper name. Is sound plural will go to Akhil. Yeah. Huh? But not all the time. See, Talibun became Tullabun. You know, Tajirun became Tujjarun. But then, sound plural is usually for rational nouns. Most of the time. But again, you know, the language is there. They have already done the job. Huh? Rasul is not Rasuluna, but Rasul is Rasul. So it's been done, brother. Now, this is for plural. Is there something different for dual? Dual doesn't change. When we study dual, okay. we'll, we'll see. Now, brother, when I add wow noon, uh, when I add wow noon, then it becomes sound masculine plural. Yeah. Let's do one more. Muslimun will become Muslimun. Sahi? Muslimun. Huh? Now, brother and sisters, brother Farooq, you see Muslimun, can you see the noun? And you see Muslimuna, nothing changed, except we added wow noon. So the original singular noun remained in its original form in the plural. The only thing was added was wow and noon. Do you see that? Can you see it? We will call it sound plural and sound plural. We have two kinds. One is feminine and one is masculine. In masculine, you will add wow noon. Now, let us make this into uh, monas. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, I am making it monas. Mudarri sa tun. And I will say musli. Muslima tun. 
How do I make plural out of it? Very easy. I have to I have to add a letter which is before ta marbuta, you know, round ta, circle ta. I add alif before it and I open the ta and make into, you know, ta maftuha, open ta. Look at it, brother. Mudar ri sa. And then tun. The ta now is open. It is closed, it is open. What will be here? Mus li ma tun. So by adding alif and opening the ta, you get <coughs> sound feminine plural. What do you get? It's very easy. <coughs> I joke with the class. I said, brothers and sisters, do you want laddu? Everybody wants laddu. What do you do if you want to eat laddu? You open your mouth wide. <laughs> so when you make sound, feminine, plural, uh, you, you must pretend that you want to eat a laddu and open your mouth. And then pronounce. So what will you say, brother and sister? Mudarri satun. Did you open your mouth? Yes, we open our mouth. When you say uh, musli matun. Huh? Are you with me, brother? So you'll open your mouth as if you are now uh, about to eat a laddu. Okay? <laughs> so that's it, brother. It's very simple. Mudarri suna, mudarri satun. They are both sound plurals, but one is muzakkar and other is monas. Muzakkar, you will add vawnun. Monas, you will add alif and open the ta. Now we come back to the broken plurals. Now broken plurals have many patterns. These patterns are given in your key. Please read the key every day. Keep the key next to your bedside. Before you get to bed, read few pages of the key. It will do you good. And also, in the handout, we have given you patterns at the end. These are all the patterns. Brothers and sisters, do not stress yourself by asking yourself to memorize it. No, don't, no. don't you know, sit down to memorize it. Think. When it comes in front of you, think what kind of a pattern it is. And you will find that it is very easy to recognize. So we go to page number 69. Again, brothers and sisters. We have Talibun. What is the plural? Tullabun. Is it broken plural or sound plural? It is broken plural. Huh? We have Tajirun. And then we have Tujarun. Brother Farooq, is it sound plural or broken plural? It's a broken plural. Okay. Hajun, you'll soon be going for Hajj, Sister Salma. Hajun. And what is the plural? Hujjajun. Is it sound plural or broken plural? Broken plural. Now these, these, three, these three are on a pattern. What is the pattern? Fu. Alun. What is the pattern? Fu alun. Put a bracket, brother. Put a bracket and write fu alun. Next one, brother and sisters. Sister Abir. Rajulun. What is the plural? Is it broken or sound? It's a broken plural. Fine. Sister uh, Hafsa, Kabirun, what is the plural? Kibarun. Is it sound or broken? No, it is broken. See? Huh? You broke it. 
and you added something. Uh, it's not in the original form. So it is a broken plural. Okay. Sister Sukhaina Sagirun Sigarun. Is it sound or broken? Broken. Sister Naima Kasirun. What is the plural? Kisarun. Is it sound or broken? Broken. Fine. And Sister Fatima Tawilun. Is it sound or broken? Broken. Huh? Broken. Okay? <clears throat> now, do you see a pattern there? In all these five ones, five, do you see a pattern? There is a pattern. So, what is the pattern? Fi'alun. What is the pattern? Fi'al. Again, I, I'm only explaining you, brother. I, I do not expect you to go home and memorize the pattern. No. Just understand, huh? Okay? Fi'alun. This is the pattern. Next one, brothers and sisters. Waladun, sister Amana. Waladun, what is the pattern? What is the plural? Auladun. Is it sound or broken? It's broken. Huh? Okay, because we added to it. Fine. Sister Faiza, you have Ibnun. Abnaun. Is it sound or broken? Broken. It's broken. And then, Nusrat, we have Ammun. Amamun. Amamun. There is Ain. Okay, Aleph and Amamun. Okay, is it sound or broken? It's broken. Now, there is a pattern there. Af'alun. What is the pattern? Af'alun. This is the pattern there. Huh? Put bracket into those things. Now, uh, Sister Minas, Shaykhun, this is very easy. We always say Shuch. Uh, is it broken? Yes, it is broken. Uh, what kind of pattern do you see there, Sister Minas? For all on. For all on. Huh? For all on. Huh? Now you see, if I say baitun, what is the plural of baitun? Buyutun. What is the huh? buyutun will be on the pattern of fuulun. So you know you will be able to recognize it slowly, slowly. Okay, inshallah. Okay. Next one, uh, sister Nasrin, daifun, daifun. That's a guest. What will you say? Plural is duyufun. Is it sound or broken? Broken. Pattern is full. Huh? Okay. Fine. Now, Sister Memuna, Zamilun. What is the plural? Zumalau. Is it sound or broken? It's a broken. Huh? Do you see a pattern there? Fualau. Huh? Fualau. One Dhamma. What does it tell you, one Dhamma? It's dip taught. Huh, brother? Brother Abdul Samad, it tells you it is dip taught. One dhamma means it is dip taught. You cannot say zomala un. It will be zomala u. Okay? Says so Aisha, fakirun is fukara u. What is it? Fukara u. So it is again broken plural. Okay? So these two are on the pattern of Fu Allah. Huh? Fu Allah. I give you one brother. Alimun Ulama. Alimun Ulama. Okay? You can also make it Alimun. Sometimes the noun can have two uh, forms of plurals or even more. You know, Arabic is very vast. You can put Pacific Ocean and Atlantic Ocean together, and <laughs> Arabic is vaster than those two oceans. Okay, fine, brother. Now, Sister Arifa, we come to Ghaniyun. Agh, huh? Agniyau. Agh 
Niyau. Is it sound or broken? It is broken. Can you figure out the pattern? Af ilau. What is the pattern? Af ilau. Af ilau. Again, I'm telling you, brother, just make a note of it. Try to understand. You will, inshallah, master it as we go along. Inshallah. Uh, brother Farooq, we have Sadiqun. What is the plural? Asdika'u. Huh? Asdika'u. Again, single dhamma. Diptoad. So it is on the pattern of Af'ilahu. Is it sound or broken? Broken. Because you added many things. Sound will only have vow noon at the end. And or alif and open ta. And the noun, singular noun will remain intact in it. No changes. Huh? It's easy, brother. Fine. Brother Hassan? Tabibun? Atibbaw. Okay. And that is also on the pattern of af ilaw. I'm going to explain you atibbaw. Huh? Just write it down near it because it will be easy. Tabibun. And what is the pattern, brother? Af ila See? So it should be at b ba u. What is it? At b ba u. Are you with me? That is the actual uh, thing according to the pattern of af ilau. But it has undergone a change. What is the change? As you can see, brothers and sisters, there is a kasra on ba. af i lau. And there is a sukun on ta. We give kasra here, we change it. And we give sukun here. Now pronounce it. Because of these two, we give a shadda. Sahi? So you will say, atibbaw. Huh? See, it underwent a little change. So, but the wazan is, af ilaw. So whenever you have two letters coming together, you will see, it will undergo a change like this. When more of it will come, I'll point out to you. So it is tabibun, which is actually at biba u, change into atibba u, atibba u. Sahih, parenthesis. So it is still on the version of af ilaw. If you can write down this in your note, then inshallah. The only thing that we did, brothers and sisters, we changed vowel signs. Hmm? We took the kasra from B and gave it to ta. We took a sukun of ta and put it on ba. Is it correct, brother Hassan? That's what it happened. Fine, brother. Now, <coughs> brother Abdul Samad, fatan. This young fellow, young man, you can say, young fellow. What is the plural? Fitiatun. What is it? Fitiatun. Is it sound or broken? Broken, broken huh? Okay. So it is also on the wazan. Fialatun. What is the wazan? Fialatun. Okay. Now, akhun. Huh? Ikhwatun. Ikhwatun. So that is also on the pattern of broken plural, fialatun. But ikhwatun has two na plurals. Ikhwatun and, do you, do you know the other one? Akhwan. Ikhwanun. Ikhwanun. What is the other one? 
Ikhwanun. So they are two. Both are broken. Ikhwatun and Ikhwanun. Both are broken. But the noun can have many patterns of plural. And that is the vastness of the Arabic language, brother. That is why the Arabs were the first to develop the art of poetry and, and take it to the highest form of eloquence. You know, when the Europe was still in dark ages, uh, the knowledge, the light, enlightenment was already there in the Middle East. Wherever Islam went, it took the knowledge with with itself, you know. Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we come to Jadidun. What is the plural? But the uh, uh, Salman, what is the plural? Jududun. Judani, Judu. Jududun. Do you see a pattern there? What is the pattern? Fuhdun. Can you relate it to something yet? See, same, same pattern. Jududun, Fuhulun, Kutubun, Rusulun. So you will always now feel the pattern, inshallah. And but then, what are the rest now? Mudari soon became Mudari soon. Huh? Mohandi soon became Mohandi soon. And Fallahun became Fallahun. Okay. And Mujtahidun became Mujtahidun. Muslimun became Muna. Okay.